Hey guys, it's Brennan with Sell.Tools and I want to make a quick video about promotions. The promotions uh, new feature will be used alongside with the API. So on the left-hand side, you're gonna have a new section called promotions. Uh, from there, you can create a promotion, it's very simple. Uh, the promotion name is whatever you want it, uh, to, to call it to keep track of it. So I'm gonna call this a uh, new promo, let's just say. Uh, ASIN is ASIN that you are currently working in, uh, the current the current uh, ASIN that you uh, want to do a promo on. Again, this is completely tied just for you so that you can keep track of what promotion I have running. Um, then proceed to coupons. So again, uh, this amount off and percent off, this again is just for you uh, to know. That the the public will not see this. Um, so let's just say uh, it is going to be a 50% um, off. Okay, these coupon codes are gener generated within Seller Central. You should, if you've gotten this far in Seller Tools, know how to create promotion codes. Um, so you would paste in your promotion codes for 50% off here. Okay, so let's just call it one, two, three. Those are my three promo codes. I'm gonna hit save and close. Now, what I wanna notice here is my new promotion. It's a 50% off uh, coupon total. Uh, if I hit refresh here, we'll say three. There we go, uh, three and zero have been given out. Okay, so I can keep track of uh, how many uh, promo codes I've ever currently given out. And then this hash. This hash is a unique hash for the promo. It's a unique hash to your account uh, no one else will have a copy of this hash. No one can steal your promo codes or anything like that. Um, they would really have to guess this hash in order to get your promo codes, which is going to be uh, extremely difficult. Um, so again, uh, this is unique to your account, and you will utilize this hash so for the API. So quick little video, how to create a promotion, how to paste in your, your uh, coupon codes, and this is your hash that you want to remember uh, that you can write it down uh, in a notepad or something in order to use later on in the API. So thanks guys.